Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best horde base ever. You can literally, literally AFK in this horde base if you build it correctly. You don't have to do anything. You could just sit there and kind of just let all the freaking zombies do whatever they're going to do. Could do it here. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do is decide if if you want to like build in the ground like this or if you just want to build on top like that up to you so let's start putting in the outline of this build real quick i will say you can make this this build taller to to kind of like get rid of the rage mode that the zombies have i'm not sure how many blocks you have to be up before that to happen otherwise after horde night you will have to uh that's kind of long that's done you will have to fix up take the time to fix up all your area because they will destroy it if rage mode is an, an issue i would just build up all the way i would go up like 13 14 15 blocks um so you won't have to worry about rage mode after rage or after the horde is done after after uh horde night is done you won't have to worry about uh fixing up your place except replacing the iron bars it is up to you how tall you want this you can make a five blocks all the way up to 20 blocks in my world i have it up to 18 blocks so again up to you what you want to do you can make it as simple as simple as a platform and the walkway for the zombies or you can put a gunner side like what i do i like the gunner side so I'm going to do a gunner side over here on this side. Uh, let me get this done and then I will be back. All right, so this walkway for the zombies can be as long as you want. This So it, it doesn't have to be this long. Longer the better though. But that means you will need to put more blocks in front of them for them to break. So that way they can't get to you. Six blocks is not going to be good enough to get rid of rage mode. So when zombies do fall, they will fall. They're going to go into rage mode. They're going to start destroying everything around them. So if you do know how many blocks you need to be up and away from the zombies from when they fall to get rid of rage mode, I would suggest going one block over that just in case. I'm going to build this up six. So I'll be back when this is done. 12, 12, 13, 14. I'll just go 14. This build I created on my own. I started using this build back in like alpha, maybe 15, 16, something like that. Yeah, I've been using it for a while. Um, I thought to myself, I need a block that will get that, that will take a lot of hit points for the zombies to get past because everything else I used, the zombies just blew past it in Horde Night. Um, but depending on how much daytime you have, it would take the zombies a long time for them to break through and i'll do i'll show a demonstration i won't shoot them i'll just let them break through and, and show you how long it will take for them to get through these iron bars this build is very good it, it will last a long time if you do it correctly there is the outline of it you could make the platform here a lot thicker for you to move around if you wanted to. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Probably probably indefinitely. Just to, just to show off this. Okay, now over here. What you want to do is go out to. This is going to be your running area. Uh, There's that. Now over here in the back. Get your hay bale. Get hay bales and put them along the side here. There we go. Okay, so when you're up here, you can just run and jump off here and land on that and be fine. 
And then over here on the side, find the middle and kind of just build a way up. And then over here, you don't want to go one or two. These ones you don't want to put there. The zombies will get there. However, you can have three up there and be fine and get up there. So with that being done, let's grab our stairs. And stairs. There we go. Okay, now let's get back to the bottom. Let's do the pyramid steps because that is the best for this. And then just put them in the corner here like this. Always do pyramid steps. Zombies have no issue running up this. They're going to get trapped right here. Put your bar down. Put it three high. So that way zombies can't jump over it. But yeah, so just do three. Three's good. So put another... Just do this all the way down. These are iron... These, okay, so these are iron bars that you can make in the forge. You just need a bunch of iron. Now we're going to do this all the way over there. Not all the way, though. Because uh, I want to show you something you can do. Yeah, one more. Okay. Now leave that as is. That is... Oh my god. Stutter. Leave that as is. This is good. The zombies will take forever to get through this. Forever. Okay. So that is good. Now, to save a lot of your resources, this is optional. The firing range is optional. You don't have to build this right away. You can wait until you have all the resources. You could just have this. If you don't have a shooting range to shoot them from the side, what you can do is just kind of build up like this. Build up like this over it. So you're going to jump up here like this. And then you're just going to do this. All the way to the end. You want to use the, the building blocks. So that way you can pick them up. If the zombies get too close. So you can, you can go right here and start shooting them. And if they get close, if they're right here, you can just back up a little bit. Pick this up. Pick this up. Pretend I picked it up. And you can start shooting them. Just like that. And basically, you just keep doing that if they, get, if they get too close. You don't need this part here. I built that just recently. I wanted... I didn't want to do this no more. Because every time I would use my shotgun, the shotgun would go through the zombies and hit the block and break it. And if you have wood there, it's going to break that wooden block really freaking fast. And they'll get under it. They'll get under, they'll break, they'll break it like that. So if I'm there and I'm shooting down, it's going to break those. And then what they'll do is they'll start going here and then it'll start getting weird because yeah. Um, so you don't want that. Now that we have this done, let's go and put this back. Now we want all the scaffoldings. Scaffoldings are gonna basically stop all spitting. About, about 1% will make it through this one block, not even one block, this little gap here and hit you, but it's not enough to do anything. So you're going to put your scaffolding all the way across you're gonna go three high you could go four high it's up to you so in the corners here with the scaffolding you're gonna have to spin them like this and then do that so that way you can look down you can look through yeah you're gonna do this all along the sides so I'll be back when that is done. When you're done with this, this outline here on the right side, make sure everything is enclosed here too. You want this so you can get out here. So now you're gonna wanna put your, your little roof 
all the way to the end over there. And when I'm done with that, uh, I'll be back. All right, now that we're done here, do the same thing going from this side to that side. Now that you're done doing that, just jump out the window. Woo! No, not really. All right, so you do have that option to jump out to get out quicker. Uh, this should be centered. These should be over here, actually. All It should be along this side. I just did it real quick to show you guys how it worked. You're going to put them all along here like this. All the way to the end. When I'm done with this, I'll show you the next step. We want pole. Okay? We want pole. So get that pole to face it. And put them like this. These beams, zombies do not see it as a pathing. So when they're right here, when they're chilling right here, zombies will not try to run across to you. Okay. So we're going to put all these across like this. So just in case we need to get to the side over there for whatever reason, we can. Let's say zombies are here. I can use this to get across and start shooting them right here. We're going to go all the way down to the end. This will prevent zombies from, if they see you, this will prevent them from jumping to you. If they do jump at you, they're going to hit this and this, and they're going to fall down. So now that this inside is all done, you can shoot the flying rats. The rats can't get to you. They won't be able to fit through this. And it also stops the zombie spit. So you can kind of just shoot like crazy. You could place storage units here and put your stuff in there. All within your reach. There we go. Just like that. And then you can do this. I like it, man. See, the only problem being up here, uh, the vultures, the rats will get you and the cops will spit at you. You could put this around you the whole way. So that way you could be safe. But that's more materials. This can be smaller. This could be taller. This could be lower. It is all up to you. All right, now let me just show you real quick how it will look during a horde night. Okay. So here we go. I'm not going to shoot him. I'm going to show you how long it will take even the pharaohs to get through this. Okay, so I'm over here. And there they go falling. So now, at this point, rage mode comes into effect. So if you're not far enough, they will go into rage mode and, and those... The rage mode will will have you stay longer after horde night is over and start fixing everything again but this is pretty much how it would work and then you can kind of stand over there and just kind of like start shooting them that's why you build three up so they can't jump on each other so this is how it looks from the top part again no you are gonna get shot at from here so from here you can kind of shoot All right, you could do that. Or you could just choose to not do anything. A lot of people don't like to shoot or kill zombies. They don't care about experience because experience has nothing to do with anything now. Um, it's all about reading books. So if you don't read the right books, you don't get the right stuff to make. Or you can't make the right stuff. So um, I'm just going to chill here and just kind of show you like exactly... What it's like.
you can stay here pretty much a, for a longer period of time, and I think I'll do that. So it looks like they're actually using these. So I'm going to get rid of these. So that way they can't get over here. So they will fall. Looks like that. So I could find a better block for to, to ramp to there. But uh, right now, oops, right now I'm not going to. And another thing too, if you guys have uh explosives you want to throw it's really hard to throw it there so um what i suggest you do for this build is put some sort of like block right here Any block it could be a plate too. I think a plate would be better. Um, and uh, go back here again. And then uh, let me get myself a uh, grenade. So grenade. And then uh, let's get mollies as well. Molos. Get that too. Oh, lag, cool. Hit those bars there. It's easy to throw them through this. For the grenades, uh, basically... Oh, it went through? That's crazy. Okay. We can just uh, kind of... Bounce it off there. Uh, I've made a better way before. Um... Oh, okay, that's what I did. I put it underneath. So... Right here. Right there. That's where I put it. So all you got to do is just pull the pin. Make a bounce off right here. And it'll land there. Boom. Just like that. Easy peasy, man. And that's why you put something... That, what? The hell? Okay. That's why you... What the hell? Alright. I'm rethinking these now. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all these. I don't like that. They keep jumping over here to the corner where I am. And I don't like it. So, nothing in the middle. Yeah, so just get your grenade and chuck it. Woo! Just like that. Even easier, you can go up here. And just throw it down like that. Oh my, what just happened? So you can kind of stand up here and kind of just like shoot. And, uh, but that's going to happen. That is definitely going to happen. Now, I don't know why these guys are messed up right now. Oh, rage mode. Yep, there it is. Rage mode. Rage mode at its best, at its finest. Rage mode at its finest. This is why you build up higher. We're almost done with the Horde Knight, and uh, this is as, as far as they got. Yeah, I just want credit where it's due, because I made this up, and uh, at first it was just this runway here, and this platform, and then I added this gun range here, so I could shoot them on the sides, and they can't really do anything about it. So you do need to block this. That's why you put I put that there. So you could block it with like uh, the, the iron bars would be good. 
And then uh, you could stand here and shoot. And they're probably beating down the side because they're in rage mode. Yeah, they can't get to me. So, so yeah, I, I would I would build this a lot higher than this is right now. All right, how much is this? How much blocks is this? Four, five, six, 13, 14, 15 up. Yeah, I would go like five more up. It's like you get this crap right here. So yeah, this is my first video using debug mode. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully you guys like the build. And just like that, it's pretty much done. So I let them beat the crap out of it. They got pretty far in, but that was because I wasn't shooting. See this guy, he was hitting the sides. Oh yeah, right on top of him. <laughs> let me check something. Let me get a plate. Cause I know plate is like very thin. Let's go on face. Yeah, dude. Okay. So you could do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be working pretty good. If I can throw it through here. Oh, I can. You can kind of just do that, but you got to be careful. So that's my build. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, man. And let me know in the comments below what you would do to this build. How would you make it better? What would you add? Again, I did come up with this on my own, so I, I don't want people to just come in and be like, yeah, that was my idea. Because <laughs> I looked up online and I didn't see any variation of this. This is the only variation I've seen of this. So, and I looked at a lot of horde bases and most of them are melee only. Uh, I will add a melee portion to this, but that's, that's later. See you guys in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.